television drama starring Peggy Wood. I remember San Francisco and the house on Steiner Street where I lived for all those years when I was a girl. I remember Aunt Jenny who had a big house down the street and rented out rooms. And I remember my own family. My brother Nell, my little sister Dagmar, and of course, Papa. But most of all, when I think of those bygone days, most of all, I remember Mama. And I remember Theodore Roosevelt Ryan, whom we all called T.R., the little boy Aunt Jenny had taken to live with her, and who sometimes seemed just a little more than she could handle. Mama, must these things be blown up in here? It sounds like the Battle of the Mon. Nels is trying to study. Come into the parlor with the balloons. Mama, how come you're giving this birthday party for T.R. instead of Aunt Jenny? After all, he lives with her. Well, she was going to give it, but then one of the boarders got sick, and she was afraid the children would disturb him, so we moved the party over here. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for, Mama. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember about birthday parties. Three parties a year for you children when you were growing up. Oh, I have pinned a thousand tails on the donkey. <laughs> oh, that old game. Yeah, I found it in the attic this morning. Oh, that reminds me, we must get the candles for the cake. Oh, Mama, I'll get them on my way home from the movie this afternoon. Yeah. What about Sarah Ann? Isn't she going with you? Mm-hmm, she's coming over after lunch. I'll see if there's anything else. There will be the paper hats and the apples for bobbing. You sure are going to a lot of trouble, Mama. Well, it is T.R.'s first real birthday party. And I found everything to be right. Gosh, uh, I guess he never had any real birthday parties when he lived with his father. Oh, well, mm. he couldn't help it being a widower. Mm. <laughs> you need a mother to give birthday parties. Well, T.R. has Aunt Jenny now. She has been a good mother to him since his father went away. Look, how long has Mr. Ryan been in South America, Mama? Oh, nearly two years now. Gosh, I'd hate to have Papa away that long. Well, it was different with T.R. His Papa had to be away at work all day. And leave T.R. to look after himself. <laughs> Aunt Jenny's is the first real home he's ever had. Yeah. And what a comfort he has been to her. Hmm. He's really like she is not for him and cared for him. Like he was her own son. Now let us see if these will all be. Oh, mm. I paint faces on them and put them around the table. Have we? Oh, yes, yes. Can Hello. You, can you oh. ready for the party so soon? Blowing up balloons, Papa. Oh. Oh, oh, oh another one. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, my advice to you is to withdraw until this bombardment is over. <laughs> A present for T.R.? Yeah, I just made it, Martha. You be tickled pink. Uh, you know, I have not made a bow and arrow since Nels was a little boy. Oh, I'll get it. Uh. Oh, hello, Sarah. Hi, Dagmar. Oh, hello, Sarah. Oh, hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. All set for the movie? Sure. <laughs> Daddy, long legs, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Balloons! For T.R.'s birthday tomorrow. Want to help blow them up? T.R. Oh, I saw his father on the street today. You saw who? Sarah? T.R.'s father, Mr. Ryan. Did you see him? Well, Mother and I were downtown this morning, and I saw him getting on a cable car. Mr. Huh? Ryan is in South America. How could you see him in San Francisco? <laughs> Did you speak to him? No. I just caught a glimpse of him as he was climbing on the cable car. I waved, but I guess he just didn't see me. Oh, but it may have been someone else, Sarah, and someone that looked like T.R.'s father. Oh, no. I know Mr. Ryan when I see him. But Mr. Ryan has been in South America for two years. I know. But just the same, I saw him today. She must be mistaken. But she's so positive. How will, why would she make up a thing like that? Well, just to make sure, I will call up Yenny. Oh. She would know. No, 8285J. Tell me again, Sarah Ann. Now, where was it you saw this man? Did you say it was T.R.'s father? Getting on the cable car downtown. I don't believe her. <laughs> She's making it up. No, I'm not. Honest. 
I saw him just as plain as anything, Mrs. Arborg. Now, that's good for you. All right, Would you like to go in and, and uh, help Dad Mother to balloons? Mother, she must be mistaken. By, uh, I would have been let know if he was coming. I would have heard. Didn't he write you, Jamie? I haven't had a letter from him in over two months. Then she is mistaken, because if he was coming home to this country, he would certainly have let you know. Well, I suppose that someday he will come. Oh, you sure to, Jenny. And then, what? What do you mean? Well, T.R. I know that someday his father will come and want to take him away. Yeah, if he marries again, I suppose. Now, who could he marry down in South America? Here comes T.R. now. Oh, I think there's no children. Take the balloons and the party things away. T.R. is here. Well, Hide well, them. Well, 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 in the pantry, something. Get, on, hurry, Aaron. hurry, go on. Oh, oh, the oh, oh, oh hurry. Go. go on, sir. Oh, 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 everything, everything. Oh, oh. oh. all clear, Papa. Oh, I'm sorry, T.R. The door must have been stuck. Hello, Miss Hanson. Hello, Aunt Jenny. This came for you. The man on the bicycle brought it. Oh. Oh, telegram. Oh. Who's it from, Aunt Jenny? Oh, oh it's uh, just a friend. There. It ain't nothing at all, P.R. Where are the girls, Miss Stanson? They're in the kitchen. Do you not want to see them? Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, P.R. Arriving in San Francisco today, have important plans to talk over with you about T.R. Uh, don't tell him that I am coming. I want to surprise him. He has plans about T.R. Why did he not let you know sooner, funny? Oh, well, that is like Mr. Ryan. He's always one to act on the spur of the moment. Oh, but what do you suppose he means, plans? We will find out soon, Jenny. Oh, I knew that someday this was going to happen. But he did not say what plans, Jenny. But what else can he mean except that he's coming here to take T.R. away with him? Oh, well, maybe not, Jenny. Maybe it's something about the boys schooling or, or to take him on a little trip, maybe. Oh, do you think maybe it could be something like that? <laughs> yeah, Jenny. Oh, yeah. What is the matter? Surely, what is the matter? It's Daddy Longlegs. Now, you know T.R. isn't going to understand that. I would, too. I like stories about spiders and things. See what I mean? <laughs> but he does not have to understand it to enjoy it. Now, take him. Oh, Mama. Oh, now, Dagmar, would it be too much bother for you to take him? Oh, oh dear. Oh, he likes the movie, so. Thanks, Aunt Jenny. Oh, all right. Thanks, Dagmar. I'll be as good as gold. Yeah. That is on one condition. What? Cookie. <laughs> Extortionist? <laughs> What's an extortionist? Oh, yeah. oh, hey, yeah. balloons! Oh. I never knew you kept balloons. Um, uh, we, uh, yes, yes, we, we, we always keep a few balloons around the house. What for? Um, uh, for fun. Well, we like balloons, Oh, yeah, they're gone along now, children. Give yeah. me the balloons. You'll yeah. be late Forget for Daddy Longlegs. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I never oh. knew you kept balloons. Oh, we do. Oh, Daddy Longlegs, here we come. And Jenny. Thanks for making Dagmar take me to the movie. <laughs> and you're the best Aunt Jenny in the whole wide world. Oh. We'll run along now, dear. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, bye. Bye. hey, Dagmar, wait for me. Come, Jenny. We'll make the birthday cake. No, it's good to see my boy. Aunt Jenny said you were back in town. Yeah, when I didn't find her over at her house, I figured she'd be here. Well, you figured right. She's in the kitchen with the rest of the gang. Come on right in. Thanks. Papa, <laughs> look who's here. Mama. Well, this is a surprise. Mr. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Mrs. Welcome back, Mr. Ryan. Hi, Aunt Jenny. Did you get my telegram? Yeah, hello, Mr. Ryan. Yeah, I got it. It came before noon. Well, where's T.R.? Well, he's at the... Well, he better do movies with the girls and he will be right back. Oh, that's too bad. How is he? 
Is he well? Uh, has he grown? Yeah, yeah, he's very, very well. And he has grown. Well, he, he looked to here already. That's all. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. And he has taken good care of your boy, Mr. Ryan. She's made a fine home for him here. I'm sure of that. That was the one thing that made being away tolerable. I knew the kid had a good home here with Mrs. Arbor. Yeah. Mr. Ryan, would you excuse me now? I have to go down to the library to study. You still in school, Nels? Medical school now, Mr. Ryan. Medical school? I wouldn't have believed it. See you later. Will uh, you not sit down, Mr. Ryan? Thanks. Uh, well, uh, how are things in South America, Mr. Ryan? Oh, just fine. Except for the climate. That tropical heat gets a man after a while. That's why I decided to pull out. You're not going back to South America? No, sir. I've got other plans. Oh, you wouldn't be remarrying by any chance, would you? No, nothing like that. I've never met the woman who could come up to T.R.'s mother. I suppose not. Then will you be coming back here to, to live in Steiner Street? No, we're going to Seattle. Me and my sidekick Corrigan are going in business. His brother's got a lumber company up there, and Corrigan invited me to become a partner. Oh, that'll be fine. Uh, would you be staying long in San Francisco? No, just long enough to pick up T.R. Oh. Are you going to take him? Sure. I figure it's about time the kid lived with his old man. I think we've imposed on you long enough, Mrs. Arbor. Oh, imposed? <laughs> Did you, uh, that you, um, would you plan to live in Seattle? Yeah, we plan to live with Corrigan's sister. She's got a big house, Corrigan tells me. Lots of room and a big yard. Mm -hmm. Just a place to bring up a kid, I figure. Oh. Balloons. But and the idea for T.R.'s birthday party. Birthday? Yeah. Yeah, sure, tomorrow. Of course, I plumb forgot. And I a fine father. Then it is supposed to be a surprise party and all his little friends from the neighborhood are coming in. All his friends? Yeah. How is he? Popular with the kids? Yeah, everyone likes T.R. Oh, he's a great favorite on Steiner Street. Yeah, he Come knows on. everybody in the neighborhood. Goes in every place without even knocking. Cookies, candies, jellies. They give him all the time. Yeah, this is uh, just like home to him here. Say, uh, about this surprise party, how about making it a real surprise? But what do you mean? Well, uh, suppose we don't tell T.R. that I'm here or anything about going to Seattle. Then I'll come over tomorrow afternoon and see him in the middle of the party. Won't that be a big surprise? Yeah, that certainly will be a big surprise. That's what we'll do then. The party's going to be here, right? Yeah, uh, two thirty. Say, I've got to get him a present. What do you think he'd like? Oh, well, anything, Mr. Ryan. Well, how about a two-wheel bike? Oh, it happened to be a fine present. A uh, two-wheeler it is. I'll go downtown and buy it now. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. And remember, not a word to T.R. about me. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Ryan. Oh. oh. Why did he have to come? It ain't fair for him to take him away like this. After all, he is the boy's body, can he? Yeah, but that's trying to be so good to him. And you have given him. That father of his, he don't care for him at all. But not even the letter he hasn't written. He forgot his birthday even. And now he comes with his high and his mighty plans. <laughs> Two of you bicycles. It just ain't fair. <laughs> Hard, yeah, mother, but he is the boy's father. Mm -hmm. If he wants to make a home for him, what can we do? Well, I wonder if he is one to ever settle down. day for, a, for your party. Oh, you have heard about T.R.'s surprise party, too. Oh, who hasn't? Every kid in the neighborhood has told me. Oh, well, I hope T.R. has not heard about yeah. it. Fine boy he is, eh? Yeah. Hey, everybody around here likes him. Uh, Steiner Street would not be the same without yeah. him. Well, have a nice party. Thank you. Good day. Yeah, Hanson sang out here? That's right. Oh, uh, good. This belongs here, I guess. Oh, this must be T.R.'s bicycle. Lost! Yeah. T.R.'s bicycle is here. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, uh, there'd be something to sign? Oh, no, no. I'm Jack Corrigan. Uh, you know, uh, Ryan's pal. You know, Ryan, the kid's pal. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. I am Lars Hansen, and this is my wife, Mrs. Hansen. Well, how did you do? Uh, Ryan was busy this morning, you know, getting his ears set out for the party, so he asked me... Ears to... set out? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, 
haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he asked me to deliver the kids' bike. Oh, it is a fine oh, bike. You are the friend of Mr. Ryan, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ryan and me have been knocking around together for a couple of years now. Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, Peru. Yeah, I understand from Mr. Ryan that you are both going into business in Seattle. Business? <laughs> Did he tell you that? <laughs> well, we talk about it, but we ain't got nothing definite. Yeah, in your brother's lumber business, Mr. Ryan said. Well, well my brother has a lumber business, but uh, I doubt there'll be anything in it for the likes of me. Yeah, or Ryan. Now, see, my brother is the... Uh, you know, the steady member of the family. But he thinks I'm a... <laughs> confidentially, he thinks I'm a bum. <laughs> and it was not true what Mr. Ryan said. Oh, listen, that, that Ryan is a crazy one, you know? I mean, one day, he's got more schemes, you know? One day, it's, uh, it's lumber we're going into. And then uh, the next day, it's oil or real estate. All I know is we're sick of South America, and we figure, well, our luck can't be any worse in Seattle. But you are going to live with your sister's house in Seattle. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mary's a fine girl. N uh, not like my brother at all. Yeah, she'll take us in even though she's got a house full already. Seven nippers and expect the number eight. <laughs> yeah, Mary always was a generous girl. <laughs> she'll find room for old Jack and his pal. Yeah, but what happens to the little boy? Oh, you, oh T.R.? Well, one more ain't gonna matter in that household. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you. Listen, I, uh, I hope the kid has a fine party. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye to you. <laughs> Catherine, where do you want me to put this tub? Oh, put it over in the corner where the little darlings won't step in it and drown. Yes, Catherine. <laughs> Captain, I I'm going to get the apples for Bobby. Where are they? Oh, in a paper bag on top of the icebox. Oh, my, how fancy. Looks more like Shenaton in the Hanson's <laughs> kitchen. Bobby, have you ever seen the paper hats and the horns and the favors? Oh, but everything looks useful. This is one party will not be a picnic, and I wish it was over. Oh, well, Jenny is coming over. She's sending T.R. over first. Do you think he heard about the party? No, I do not think so. Well, about his father? No. He's in for plenty of surprises today. And after today, too. Yeah. Um, <sighs> brace yourself, everyone. Here they come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 The birthday boy is not here yet, but you make yourselves at home. Now, she'll help him with their hats and coats. And, Papa, you give them the hats and the horns. And here's a hat for you and the horn. And, Dagma, will you see they do not get into the presents? And here's another hat. Oh, there you are. The string seeks to pick the Take that one. Blow the horn. And here's a hat. Oh, and hello, Tommy. Yeah, T.R. is not here yet. Here you are. There's oh, there's another floor. There's one for you. And there comes... <laughs> well, look here. Hey, there's a brand new bicycle in the backyard. It's a present for T.R. Gosh, did T.R. really get a bicycle? Mm -hmm. Come on, in the backyard, I'll show you. <laughs> yes, I think that's the right. Shh, everybody. Here comes T.R. Oh, guys, okay. so look. Everybody get in the pantry. But don't say, what do I do? Get in there now. Get behind the pantry. That's it. Well, T.R., hello. Hello, Miss Tyson. And Jenny sent me over to borrow a cup of sugar. Oh, well, I think we can find that now. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah? Why are all these things hanging up for? <laughs> Surprise, T.R. Oh, yeah. yeah. You mean it's a party? Yeah, it's yeah. a party. Jenny, they're having a party, a birthday party for me. Oh, isn't it just wonderful? Gee, and you sent me over for a cup of sugar. <laughs> sugar. T.R., T.R., guess what's out in the backyard? Something for me? I'll say it's something for you. Come on. Come on, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,
Now, let me help you get it out of the bushes. <laughs> Only bike ever grew on the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. <laughs> yeah, Is it all for me? Oh, yeah, it's all for you. <laughs> How happy he is. Yeah. Yeah. He sure has grown. Uh, he's a fine, healthy boy. Sure looks it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he has taken care of him oh, and loved right. him like that's a... That's the leg over. Oh, look. Oh, sure. It's that good now. You like the color of it. Oh. Yeah. Like our own son, she's like Yeah, he's happy here on Steiner Street. Happy birthday. Oh, I'm glad, dear. <laughs> I'm never going to leave Steiner Street. I'm going to live here always and be with all of you and all the kids. Oh, yeah, dear. Even when I grow up, I'm still not going to leave. Oh, yeah, dear. Yeah, he is happy here on Steiner Street. I can see that he is. Yeah. Yenny loves him. A child must take, have someone to take care of him. You know, someone who is always there. Someone to fix his food, to pick him up when he falls down, to hear his prayers. Oh. <laughs> this little boy that needs a lot of love, Mr. Ryan. Mrs. Hanson, Mr. Hanson, it wouldn't be right. I realize that now. What would not be right, Mr. Ryan? I've got nothing to give him. Nothing like this, anyway. Like you said, kid needs someone steady, someone he can depend on. Me, I ain't even got a job. I was just bragging when I said I did. Me and Corrigan, we got nothing. And as far as living with his sister, I don't know, know if she's even got room. I want to take him with me, sure. After all, he's my son. But I couldn't give him a home. Not right now. Oh, Doc, he's having such a good time. Oh, oh hello, Mr. Ryan. Oh, you... You came to... To see Tia. You want to see him now, Mr. Ryan? No, I don't think I'd better. Only get him stirred up. Uh, Mr. Ryan, he does not think he will take Tia to see him. Just tell him... The bike. I sent it to him from South America. Are you sure you do not want to see him? No, if he knew I was here, he might want to go with me. That's the way kids are, you know. And uh, it wouldn't be right. I know that now. It wouldn't be right. Someday, God willing, I, I may be able to make a proper home for him. Till then... Let him be like he is out there now. Laughing. Happy. Not a care in the world. <laughs> 